I welcome you all for this third day online program on Ek Bharat Shesh Bharat Culture Connect program session 2. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our today's resource person Dr. S M Sahni, retired KAS officer, Jammu and convener of Intact Jammu chapter and former director of tourism Jammu. He is very much interested in management pilgrim tourism Jammu. He has a, such a wonderful professional experience on administration, personal management, estate management, planning and development of projects, pilgrim tourism, marketing and managing the events and formulation of schemes and projects and coordination with the Ministry of Tourism Government of India. He begins his service as a personal and administration project and estate management in private sector at 1975. and posted at various sectors like jammu and kashmir tourism department estates departments etc finally he ends with director of jammu and kashmir tourism department at 2010 july sir initiated and implemented many projects like mubarak mandi heritage complex golf course complex border tourism etc he also conducted international and national level events like shopping festival south asian tourism exhibition seminars workshops and so on dear student we really fortunate to have such a wonderful multi talented personality dr sm sahni sir once again on behalf of arulmigu palani and our arts college of our women and government degree college poonch i welcome you wholeheartedly sir sir is going to deliver a lecture on treasures of jammu and kashmir once again i welcome you sir over to the session thank you a uh, very good morning to all the participants and viewers of this webinar uh my name is asim sani uh, i am convener of indian national trust for art and cultural heritage uh, jammu chapter before i start the treasures of jammu and kashmir with a bit of tourism i would say the treasures in the tourism sector of jammu and kashmir uh, i would like to pray to the god to help us to curb this uh, covid-19 pandemic and uh, all the participants to please follow the covid 19 protocols and save yourself and save others from this pandemic now i'll start with the uh, treasures there are uh, various aspects of treasures in jammu and kashmir uh, which are uh, mainly the natural treasures uh, like snow clad mountains low lower himalayan passes lush green meadows ice cold uh, uh, ice cold waterfalls streams rivers springs having pure rich mineral water bodies uh, we have cold deserts we have uh, devdar uh trees thick forest uh, covered with devdar budlu fir trees uh, all along the meadows and on the upper and lower himalayas uh the pine trees also uh, then we have uh, medicinal plants we have wildlife we have birds uh, watching points uh, we have trout and other species of the fishes which is very rare uh, in uh, the uh, tourism sector uh, the next uh, i'll come to the uh, traders from 
the pilgrimage tourism uh, point of view. We have pilgrimage places uh, which we normally called as pilgrim centers or spiritual tourism centers which are uh, the backbone of Indian tourism especially in Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, the places of worship all across uh, JNK either located or established by spiritual gurus. Saints have, having uh, the historical significance. Uh, the famous shrines uh, uh, I would uh, name a few like uh, Shri Amanaji's uh, cave shrine famous all over the world. Mata Vaishnu Deviji's cave shrine famous all over the world. Shiv Kodi cave shrine Ziyarat Baba Rishi Ji, Ziyarat Nuruddin Nurani Ji, Hazrat Bal Ziyarat at uh, Sinaga, Sai Meera Ziyarat at Punch, Nangali Sahib at Punch. Uh, Nangali Sahib Gurdwara is very famous all over the uh, world uh, amongst the Sikh community. Then uh, we have uh, uh, Sharda Peet located in POK. Uh, then we have uh, uh, Buddha Manadi Shrine. Then uh, Shadra Shiv Ji and uh, Kali Devi Temple in Jori district. Ambaran, uh, the Buddhist, uh, having the Buddhist signs uh, in Aknur, Pandav Gufa in Aknur near Jammu. Ziyarat Baba Buddha Ali Shah Ji in Jammu. And Jammu itself is known as city of temples, having historical uh, temples, uh, very famous and historical temples. Uh, we have been in tech listed about uh, uh, 100 temples in Jammu district itself, which have uh, the uh, heritage value, heritage means more than 100 years and so on so. so then uh, these are all at present the traders of uh, pilgrim tourism and uh, then we have uh, uh, Bhave Wali Mata the Kali temple in uh, Bahu Fort, Parmandala and Rutharveni, the uh, Chota Kashi uh, of North India then we have uh, historical Shiv temple at Bilawar Bala Sundari Ji Temple at Bravar, Sukrala Devi Ji and Machel Mata. Uh, these are two famous uh, 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 temples of uh, uh, Mata uh, worship and uh, Devi worship and uh, is being visited by more than a million pilgrims every year. Ziyarat of Asraruddin Sahib at Kishtwad. Then we have Kheer uh, Bhawani Ji at Srinagar, uh, very famous, and uh, Sudhma Dev, uh, uh, the uh, historical uh, uh, place. All these uh, uh, pilgrim centers shows that the secular fabric, right from the ages, uh, was existing in India and particularly in Jammu and Kashmir state because uh, we find in Jammu uh, in the Muslim Ziyarats Hindus are uh, uh, paying their respects on every Thursday uh, their number is more than that of uh, the Muslim community so this uh, is a very uh, significant evidence that uh, we have a very rich cultural secular fabric uh, which is still existing in our state. We are proud of this and this is uh, one of the uh, very important trailer of uh, the tourism uh, being visited uh, by the tourists. I would say the pilgrim tourists across the country. Then uh, the third one comes to the layer tourism. We have uh, uh, Kashmir Valley, Srinagar Valley, famous all over the world uh, since ages. 
then uh, we have Gulmag, we have Belgam, we have Dajigam, we have Yusmag, we have uh, Sonamag. Then in Jammu division we have uh, uh, the Patni Dab, Sanasar, uh, then we have uh, uh, Sudhmadev, Mantlai, very having historical significance. Then uh, we have Dudu, Vasantgarh, Vasoli, Panni, Sarthal, uh, the Bhadrava, Bhadrava uh, towards Himachal, uh, we have Padri, Padri Gali. Then we have uh, uh, Chinta, Jai, in Udhapur uh, district, we have Panchari, Sanasa, uh, Mansar, Swinsa Lakes. Then uh, uh, we have uh, uh, very a special type of houseboats in uh, uh, the Dal Lake. This is absolutely for lay tourism. Then we have Shikara rides. And uh, after every 40 to 50 kilometers, you will find beautiful places uh, of lay tourism. Uh, whether you move from um, the plains of Punjab to the highest point towards uh, 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 upper and lower Himalayas uh, up to Saichan, uh, you will find beautiful places. It will uh, we have cold desert also. Except for beach tourism uh, along the sea coast, we have all kind of tourism in our state or rather in our uh, beauty. Then we have uh, trailers of adventure tourism. The pilgrim routes now converted into trekking routes. The, those were all trekking routes earlier uh, for uh, moving for the trading or for pilgrimage purposes. Then we have rock climbing facilities and opportunities. Rather, these are all trailers. Then we have mountaining, then paragliding, boating, rafting, adventure camps. You move in any um, direction, you will find beautiful places uh, for adventure camps. Then you have cycling tracks, then uh, ice cold uh, streams uh, for angling uh, purposes. Then uh, uh, other traders uh, we have in our state, uh, uh, wellness tourism very important factor uh, uh, from the medical tourism point of view and especially uh, uh, the changing scenario of uh, tourism industry uh, since 2020 uh, the pandemic of uh, uh, 19 COVID pandemic of uh, uh, 19 because uh, the remote areas, the isolated areas, the areas which, are, which I have mentioned as layered tourism, those can be uh, treated as uh, isolated places, having uh, mineral water, uh, fresh air, uh, uh, pollution-free areas, uh, and that when, whether uh, you, are, you are going to stay in huts, hotels, or in adventure camps, uh, in the near future, for a couple of years, all these areas going to be very good for uh, the health uh, uh, point of view and isolation point of view. And uh, from uh, various other angles, one can stay alone or with the families or uh, uh, their friends in isolated areas with all safety precautions and facilities to be created by the hospitality sector of our UT. Then we have a rural tourism. Rural tourism, once again, I would say, is the backbone of Indian tourism industry. And uh, rural tourism was uh, encouraged by Government of India about two decades back. And it is picking up. Uh, and people are liking it, whether you 
you, whether you call it uh, as a resort tourism, whether you call it as a uh, rural tourism, or whether you call it a, uh, in the remote areas a paying guest homestay schemes, all these factors are uh, promoting uh, the uh, rural tourism and uh, it is boosting the economy as well as uh, the opening the new areas uh, for the hospitality sector. Then we have uh, agro-tourism which is uh, directly connected with the uh, rural tourism. Agro-tourism uh, is very important uh, from the horticultural, agro and medicinal uh, uh, value uh, crops point of view. Then we have uh, border tourism uh, like uh, Vaga border in uh, Amritsar or Ferozpur border. Uh, we have here uh, Suchetgarh, the uh, border point in, uh, this is about 35 kilometers from Jammu uh, city. Uh, people have started going and visiting the zero line and they are uh, uh, being diverted or they are uh, staying at the nearby places uh, en route also and moving towards other uh, the pilgrim uh, tourism or uh, uh, the border tourism uh, places uh, in Jammu. Then we have another major factor, uh, the conference tourism, the MICE tourism I would say. So we have uh, the conference centers in Jammu, Srinagar also, in Jammu also, and Leh also. And besides, now the trend is that uh, even uh, the small places, uh, you have hotels having the conference uh, facilities where one can hold conferences, meetings, exhibitions, uh, and so on. Uh, this is also giving boost to the tourism. And uh, I must uh, mention here, uh, in our uh, the erstwhile state, uh, the uh, even in older days, the uh, gatherings of saints, gatherings of uh, the, uh, the religious uh, personalities, academicians used to be there. So those gatherings, meetings, uh, now in uh, modern terminology are known as conferences. And so it shows that uh, since ages we used to have uh, the conferences at Srinagar, all at uh, uh, in the Kashmir Valley or on the Silk Road at various places. Uh, even Buddhist conference uh, is very famous uh, um, uh, in Srinagar. Uh, then uh, we have uh, educational hubs. That means the education tourism. Uh, earlier, uh, the because of Sharda Peet, Sanskrit Vidyalayas and uh, uh, other Gurukuls, uh, the people used to uh, come and stay there for education purposes, which are now being uh, encouraged in the shape of uh, higher education institutions, universities, and admissions are being given. Uh, India basis and this is also one of the signs of encouragement to the uh, tourism industry and these are all our uh, traders since ages and now is being converted into uh, educational uh, institution hubs, medical colleges and all that. Uh, then we have military heritage, we have uh, a very uh, important past uh, military uh, history and uh, uh, in Jammu we have listed about 82 heritage buildings of Jammu cantonment uh, the, the state Togra forces uh, right up to the modern times and uh, this is very very important uh, from the uh, military heritage point of view the right from Zorawar Singh's time, then Maharaja Ranjit Singh's time, then Maharaja Gulab Singh times, the Dogra forces and other uh, military uh, heritage point of view. 
this uh, the museums and uh, military museums uh, the army museum the army headquarters the asteroid buildings uh, that means the built heritage and the war uh, uh, memorials the uh, uh, war points where the uh, whether it was 47, whether it was 62, whether it was uh, 71 or 65 or 71, 99 and so on. So we have uh, places where our uh, uh, heroes fought the war and they sacrificed for uh, incredible India, the great nation India, uh, where, uh, for which we are proud of. We have uh, heritage tourism, we have heritage buildings, uh, we have uh, the palaces, forts, monuments, the, the typical architectural point, uh, uh, point of view, the, uh, the buildings which are uh, uh, constructed uh, more than 100 years and uh, we have the Pandav Gufas which are uh, more than uh, 5,000 years old. Then we have caves. Then uh, we have uh, uh, the signs of uh, uh, the roots where Pandav uh, used to stay uh, and uh, so on. Uh, those are all, uh, we can say, part of built heritage. The Constructed, uh, construction technology and all that. Uh, besides this, we have lot of treasures in the shape of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, like uh, handloom, handicraft. These are all our treasures which are being in, uh, handloom, handicrafts, uh, which are being uh, encouraged and famous all over the world like pashmina, patu, woolen uh, fabrics, embroidery works, metal crafts, straw works, bamboo, uh, straw craft, uh, bamboo craft, clay craft, then you have chilla, gota, kliri, kanara, then you have specifically the special type of jewelries, different types of jewelries, whether uh, stone uh, work is there, whether uh, uh, gold work is there, whether diamond work is there, that is, of course, that is very less, then uh, you have silver uh, jewelry, and then you have leather craft also. Very important uh, trader, right from the ages of fair festivals, religious gatherings, these are all focal points from the tourism uh, point of view, and these are our traders, the rituals, the customs, these are all our uh, uh, traders which now the tourism department is exploiting not in JJNK but all over the country to attract foreign tourists, to attract tourists from uh, other states, to attract tourists from other uh, districts and uh, all these uh, traders whether these are uh, uh, social, religious or cultural gatherings uh, having uh, the significance of uh, exchange of ideas, the exchange of uh, thoughts and uh, celebrations of various festivals, fairs and uh, the annual uh, congratulations and uh, uh, all these things are uh, now being promoted as uh, one of the traders of the tourism industry which are boosting the economy of the region and uh, at the same time of uh, uh, our UT, Jammu and Kashmir uh, at, the same, at the national level also. Then we have very important factor once we are moving the ethnic foods, these are also our, uh, uh, I would say, the traditional traders, because uh, people are uh, people can cannot live without food. So you enjoy the food traders. Uh, once you move from one direction to another direction, and you will find after every 40 to 50 kilo kilometers, 
different variety of uh, the foods according to the traditional habits, the traditional ingredients, the traditional agro products, the traditional uh, and ethnic style of cooking. So the taste of uh, uh, the foods uh, is very important right from again I would say the plains of Jammu region touching the Punjab up to the uh, Saichan Glacier or Upper Himalayas or Lower Himalayas you will find variety of foods which uh, is very enriched from the medicinal point of view uh, which is very uh, rich from your health point of view which is very rich for getting energy and uh, during this uh, pandemic uh, like Swami Ramdev Ji and other yoga gurus they are teaching uh, you the yogas these practices are being uh, uh, followed up since it is in our uh, remote areas and in especially in our state uh, uh, where uh, Saptrishi and uh, Gurus used to stay and they used to uh, teach to uh, the uh, to their students in Gurukuls in their ashrams uh, and accordingly the food habits and uh, uh, organic foods now these are being uh, uh, converted into modern tourism uh, products but our traders are uh, here uh, which was started by our uh, elders I would say our gurus, our sadhus, our uh, saints since ages. Uh, with these words, I hope that uh, uh, these are the main glimpses of uh, the tourism products and the tourism traders uh, existing in our uh, Jammu and Kashmir uh, UT. I thank you so much and uh, uh, pray to Almighty to give us the courage to face in this COVID-19 pandemic and hope God will help us and at the same time we have to help each other by observing the COVID-19 protocols. Thank you so much and uh, stay safe stay safe thank you so much and stay safe uh, it's my uh, pleasure uh, to be here uh, before you uh, in the valedictory uh, session of uh, three day uh, national symposium on uh, culture connect uh, jointly organized by the NCC unit of Government Degree College Punch and NCC unit of AP College Arts Women Tamil Nadu. Uh, at, uh, I, I use this opportunity to extend uh, my heartiest congratulations to uh, the principal uh, of uh, AP College uh, Women Arts Tamil Nadu uh, and the staff members, especially uh, the NCC officer and uh, also the uh, in charge Ek Bharat Srisht Bharat Club and uh, along with that I appreciate the efforts of uh, efforts made by the NCC officer uh, Dr. Yugesh Kumar uh, who is in charge of Ek Bharat Srisht Bharat Club from uh, uh, GDC Punch and uh, it's heartening to note that uh, this three day symposium has remained very successful it was the first attempt being made by both the colleges uh, as a joint effort uh, from Jammu and Kashmir and from Tamil Nadu and uh, uh, I'm so happy that uh, uh, learned people were roped in to deliver the lectures about uh, various facets of uh, um, uh, the uh, Jammu and Kashmir and also uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, they uh, uh, deliberated extensively on various aspects of uh, 
Jammu and Kashmir and as well as uh, Tamil Nadu. So uh, um, I congratulate the organizers as their uh, success, uh, their, their efforts have uh, been very successful and uh, uh, this in endeavor has gone very well uh, with the students also and I hope that the students of both the colleges have learned a lot and uh, the lectures delivered by the experts would remain on the YouTube uh, which would be uploaded on the websites of both the colleges and uh, they, they, they would act as the reference uh, in the future also to know uh, about uh, the, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir as well as about the culture, traditions, languages and other uh, dimensions of uh, Tamil Nadu. So uh, uh, this uh, overall uh, uh, success uh, has been quite, uh, uh, you know, uh, quite astounding and uh, I'm happy that, uh, the, that both the colleges have been uh, successful and this, uh, uh, this uh, exercise has brought both the colleges very close to each other and we will continue to organize such programs in future also my thanks to the principal and the staff members of ap college uh, women tamil nadu uh, for having been able to organize such a wonderful program thank you a very happy day to all myself lieutenant dr r kalayarasi working as a director of physical education come associate ncc officer and Nodal Officer of Ek Bharat Shrestha Bharat Club of Aralmigu Palani Andavar Arts College for Women, Palani, Dindikal, Tamil Nadu. I am very happy to welcome all the participants and faculty members on behalf of Aralmigu Palani Andavar Arts College for Women and Government Degree College, Poonj. I spread my most sincere thanks to Lord Muruga. I take this occurrence to thank a principal, Dr. N. Bhubaneshwari of Aralmiga Palani and our Arts College for Women, Palani, for her valuable guidance and motivation towards the conduction of this program. And also, it's an honor to thank Professor Musaraf Hussain Shah, principal of Government Degree College, Poonj, Jammu and Kashmir, India for his graceful and sparkling words. Thank you, sir. I have been fortunate to have a renowned identity from Internal Quality Assurance Cell of Aralmiga Palani and our Arts College for Women, Mrs. P. Selvi, Madam, Head of the Department, Department of English, IKSC Coordinator of Aralmiga Palani and our Arts College for Women, Palani for their guidance and in initiating this Ekbarat Shasha Bharat Club. Thank you so much, Madam. And I also extend my sincere thanks to Professor Kadam Hussain, the Coordinator of Internal Quality Assurance Cell of Government Degree College, Poonj. Thank you very much, Sir. I express my sincere thanks to Professor Indu Pandey Kanduri, Faculty Development Center, Pandit Ma Madam Mohan Malviya, National Mission for Teachers and Teaching, Ministry of Education, Government of India, Srinagar, Uttaragand, for her guidance towards the conduction of this program. I mention my sincere sense of gratitude to my co-coordinator, Dr. Yukesh Kumar Sharma, for her efforts and voluntary approach and innovative ideas towards the successful completion of this online program on Culture Connect. I want to thank all the resource persons who gave his vital time from their busy schedule to grace this program. First resource person, Dr. A. D. Batmashri, Assistant Professor, Department of History, Jairaj Anabakiam College, Perikulam Theni, Tamil Nadu. He delivered a lecture on Art of Living in Tamil Nadu. In day 1, Session 2, Dr. M. Vijay Shanti, Assistant Professor, Department of History, Fatima College, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. She delivered a lecture on Culture and Heritage of Tamil Nadu. Day 3, Session 1, Mrs. J. Sharmila, Assistant Professor, Department of History, Lady Dove College, Madurai, Tamil Nadu.
she delivered a lecture on treasures of tamil nadu day 1 session 2 professor sheshad bande head of the department department of history government degree college poonch jammu and kashmir he delivered a lecture on art of living in jammu and kashmir day 2 session 2 professor lalit mangotra the president of dogri sanshad jammu the premier and the oldest literacy organization of jammu and kashmir sir has delivered a lecture on culture and heritage of jammu and kashmir last but not least day 3 session 2 dr sm sahni convener intact jammu chapter former director of tourism jammu he delivered a lecture on treasures of jammu and kashmir it's my duty to thank all the resource person who have gives uh, gave his vital time from their busy schedule to grace this program a grand success thank you very much sir and madams next i extend my sincere thanks to all the faculty for the appreciating involvement all the faculties of arunmigu palani andavar arts college for women and government degree college poonch for the appreciating involvement and the willingness they have expressed towards the program thank you all and it is my duty to show my sincere appreciation to all the participants that is the students from arunmigu palani andavar arts college for women and government degree college poonch and cc nss and yrc volunteers who have been the strength of this online program on culture connect once again i thank each and every one of you for being with us for the past 3 days it has a remained a pronounced pleasure have a great future ahead thank you jai hind